Welcome to Essential Think. In this video, you will learn about a special kind of anxiety called time anxiety, what it is, how it works, and how you can overcome it and take control over your daily life. Let us dive in. Living in the modern world means checking your calendar every day, living on schedule, and keeping close watch of the time and the way it's spent. We employ the best time management tools, read the best productivity books, plan everything ahead, but sometimes we simply feel that there isn't enough time and that the little time we have just flies by too quickly. It seems we always need some extra time, a few additional hours to make things work, to start a business, to develop a skill, or do something we were supposed to do years ago. And yet, time goes by and the notion that we're not spending it well continues to dwell in our mind. This feeling that we don't have enough time and that we're wasting the little time we do have is called time anxiety. Now, anxiety in a more general sense is a feeling of tension, worry and fear, usually about things that are supposed to happen. Time anxiety, on the other hand, is a feeling that you never have enough time to reach your goals or that you're wasting the time you do have. At a young age, time usually doesn't have much importance to us. We play and learn and create without ever thinking about time constraints. As we become older, however, time gains more significance and the notion that wasting time will deeply impact our future slowly seeps into our brain. Before we know it, we have become adults and time has become our most valuable resource. Our work, family, children, friends and hobbies all require time and we are left with the realization that time cannot be controlled. We can try our best to manage it, but regardless of our efforts, it simply moves on. The world today is obsessing over productivity and efficiency and using every ounce of our spare time, so it's not uncommon to sometimes feel stressed and overwhelmed by the time limitations or the workload we have. However, time anxiety can become more than just a brief moment of stress during our workday, and if it becomes its full-blown version, it can block our productivity completely, make us procrastinate and eventually cause us to burn out. Understanding our relationship with time is the solution to time anxiety, but before we dive into the potential remedies, let us look at three main examples of time anxiety that affect our lives. Number 1 daily or current time anxiety. This is the feeling of never having enough time in your day. Dealing with day-to-day -day stress creates a sense of being rushed and makes us feel overwhelmed, which can then lead to a feeling of panic. This is the essence of daily time anxiety. This pressure and constant fear of not having enough time, which can then potentially lead to anxiety attacks. Number 2. Future time anxiety. This type of time anxiety includes the internal questions of what if, what will happen tomorrow, what will the future bring, what if something bad happens. These thoughts and worries about what could happen in the future are the epitome of future time anxiety and they lead us to feel guilt over the things we believe we should have done before, but also fear what may happen in the future depending on our actions today. And number 3. Existential time anxiety. This type of time anxiety is the sense that time is slipping away from us, never to return, as we race towards the end of our existence. Thinking about time in the context of human life and death, and the realization that the time we have lost can never be retrieved, contributes to the feelings of anxiety and sometimes even panic. But how do these types of time anxiety manifest in our own daily lives? What exactly are they? Dr. Alex Lickerman, who has explored this concept in his book The Undefeated Mind, describes a few specific symptoms of time anxiety in our everyday lives. 1. You worry about lateness. If you worry because you're being late or potentially being late, this can have a detrimental effect on your well-being. Time anxiety can lead to a preoccupation with being late. Stressing over potential lateness can keep you constantly under pressure and even leave you angry and upset because you were a couple of minutes late to somewhere. 2. You feel a need to rush. This feeling is similar to the feeling you had if you've ever overslept and suddenly woke up stressing about being late to an exam or a job interview. Dealing with time anxiety makes you feel a need to rush from one place to the other, sometimes even without any reason. 3. You feel stressed out when you don't accomplish everything you planned. 
This is a situation where you can't stop thinking about things you didn't manage to do and not being satisfied with the things you have done. Time anxiety can hold you back from enjoying your moments of free time or your vacation because you simply can't stay in the moment and your mind races back to the things you didn't do or you could have done better. And 4. You keep thinking about missed opportunities. This time anxiety symptom makes you feel like you've failed in achieving certain things you were expected to achieve at your age. For example, get married or buy a house or have a great career. Feeling that you've missed your opportunities and that you'll never be able to catch up can overwhelm you and prevent you from actually reaching any of your life goals. Alright, by now we are pretty much aware that the passage of time can cause some anxiety. Our attempts to control time are not working, so what can we do to reduce these negative effects? Here are four simple strategies that can help you reduce time anxiety. Number 1. Accept your relationship with time. First thing you need to do is analyze whether your anxiety is related to the concept of time. Ignoring or trying to escape the effects time has on your daily life can and will lead to time anxiety. Accepting the truth that time exists and that we cannot change it or stop it from moving forward will help you let go of the constant struggle against time. Although this might seem like a simple and obvious step, we often get caught up in our busy daily routines and we need to be reminded of the role time plays in our lives. Number 2. Ask yourself what time well spent means to you. Sometimes you just need to take a break and figure out what really makes you happy when it comes to spending time. What does a good day look like for you? What sort of activities make you forget about your problems? Don't think about the outcomes, but focus on what you believe is the most meaningful way of spending your time. This might be some hobby, or hanging out with your family and friends, or skydiving, or playing piano. Whatever your answer to this question might be, don't overthink it, but make a small list of things you enjoy. This will prevent time anxiety from making you feel like you're not spending your time in the best way possible. Number 3. Find meaningful things in your life. If you feel that your life is mostly meaningful, then you're probably not stressed by the fact that time is passing by. Many of us need to believe that we are living the best version of our lives and that we are spending our time on things that are truly meaningful. In order to achieve this, you need to analyze your life goals and the ways in which you can reach them. For example, if you want to find a soulmate and start a relationship, make an effort to go out on a date with someone. If you feel stressed by your job, think about the ways to find a different career. There are countless examples of how you can alleviate the effects of time anxiety and taking small, simple actions is a great step in the right direction. And number 4. Eliminate the distractions. Try to remove the distractions that consume your time. This is an extremely simple but essential strategy for reducing time anxiety. If you're able to identify the activities that are, in your mind, wasting your precious time, then do your best to cut them out. Endlessly scrolling through your social media or watching hours of cat videos are certainly not productive and can significantly contribute to your feelings of stress and anxiety. But remember to stay patient with yourself, because all of these strategies require time. Of course, if you ever feel that time anxiety is affecting the quality of your life and preventing you from enjoying your everyday activities, please consider talking to a therapist. Professional support can help you navigate these issues and live up to your full potential. In conclusion, it's important to mention that time anxiety is a common thing and no one should feel shame about it. It affects each individual differently and learning about it is the best way to keep it in check. Alright, I truly hope the information provided in this video can help you better understand this topic. If you feel you've gained some value from it, please click the like button, subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for all new videos that come out. Thank you so much for watching, take care and see you next time.